Hello students, welcome to Legacy IIS Academy. Today we are going to discuss about the urban heat island and how this urban heat island is contributing to the worsening summer in the Indian metropolitan cities, especially in the northern India, for example, the capital city of New Delhi. So first of all, let us try to understand the context in which we are discussing today's issue. So for past few weeks, several parts of countries are reeling under severe heat, heat wave like conditions. And on Sunday, for instance, we look at the example of Delhi itself. Two different regions of Delhi have recorded temperature of almost closer to 50 degrees Celsius. For example, we have Mungeshpur that has recorded temperature of 49.2 degrees Celsius. While at the same time, Najafgarh, it has recorded a temperature of almost 49.1 degrees Celsius. That is not very common. The maximum temperature, for example, in Gurgaon also has been sold to 48.8, uh, 48.1 degrees Celsius, while in the nearby region of Noida, it is 47.1 degrees Celsius. So, temperature of these cities where we have maximum development of urban sprawl is much more higher as compared to the nearby regions, which are covered by the green uh, uh, trees, we can say, or where the urban, stroll, uh, urban development is not so intense. So, also one thing that we are witnessing that if we compare in the same region temperature of cities with the temperature of the rural areas even for example in the Delhi itself cities are observed to be much more hotter as compared to rural areas and this is scientists believe is due to a phenomena that is widely known all across the world as urban heat island. So, what we can say is that it is the effect of urban heat island which is being observed in the metropolitan cities like Delhi and nearby region and it is due to this effect the cities are much more hotter especially some pockets of cities are much more hotter as compared to the nearby adjoining areas. Now before understanding about the urban heat island effect let us try to understand that why we are saying that Delhi is witnessing a heat wave. So as per the Indian meteorological department Heat wave is defined in India when the temperature of any region is 4.5 to 8.5 degrees Celsius above normal of that particular region. The main effect of heat wave is that it increases the risk of heat related illnesses, especially in the people who are outside during the afternoon and noon hours. This disproportionately affect those people who have uh, who depend on their livelihood by selling certain goods and they have to remain outside of their home during the afternoon and noon hours. At the same time, heat wave not only causes heat related illnesses and diseases, it is also responsible for reduction of air quality that also worsens the people who are suffering from certain, uh, from, uh, certain breathing problems or we can say uh, pulmonary diseases. At the same time, it increases the temperature very, very high, uh, due to very, very high increase in temperature and the blow of strong hot winds. It is also exacerbated by the fact that the whole region of Delhi and the surrounding area has not witnessed rainfall. So there has been little to no rainfall. So that is why we can say that heat wave like condition is prevailing around in the northern Indian cities. Now, having been talked about heat island, heat uh, effect or we can say heat wave, let us try to understand that what is the urban heat island effect that has raised the temperature of the cities. So first of all, the urban heat island effect is not an effect that is observed in a very large area. It is quite a local effect and also a very temporary phenomenon. At the same time, we observe, if we have to define urban heat island, it is defined as when the certain pockets or certain areas of any metropolitan cities experiences much higher heat load than uh, compared to the surrounding areas or neighboring areas, then that region can be classified as an urban heat island. The major, we can see the temperature variation between the adjoining areas and the heat island can be in the range of 3 to 5 degrees Celsius. So basically, let us try to understand this way. What is an island? Island is a small piece of land that is surrounded, surrounded by water from all the sides. So similar way, heat island refers to that part of land which is much more hotter as compared to the surrounding cool area. Thus, it is called as heat island. Now, why we have or why do we witness heat island phenomena? It is basically believed that what happens 
especially in those pocket cities where urban development is much more intense where we have large number of vehicles flying through where we have large extent of concretization that is large scale concrete buildings have been come, come up and also we have written, uh, we have large number of roads uh, or huge high density of roads that is covered by uh, we can say a, a tar coal tar and this all attracts heat or absorbs heat to a very higher degrees and that is why the heat gets trapped within these locations and that is why these regions resemble a kind of concrete jungles and thus we call, call it as an urban heat island effect. So obviously the question comes that why do cities become much more hotter or why do certain pockets of cities become much more hotter as compared to the adjoining green areas or adjoining rural areas. So this we can understand the first point is in the rural areas if you look at that overall the greenery is much more higher the rural areas the villages are covered by the trees or forest or these kind of areas farmlands even and due to the availability of large extent of greenery it plays a very important role in thermoregulation or temperature regulation of the rural areas one of the most important ways how temperature regulation is carried out in the rural areas is by the method of transpiration what is transpiration Transpiration basically refers to the uh, phenomena by which the trees actually absorbs water from the ground level then store this water in the stem and leaves and then gradually uh, remove this water from the stem and leaf via method of transpiration to the atmosphere. So what is happening? The trees via transpiration is actually transferring water vapor into the atmosphere and this leads to the increase in the humidity, increase in the uh, moisture of the atmosphere and that can further cause cooling of the region by rainfall that is all the moisture that is evaporated uh, that is uh, transferred to the atmosphere by transpiration can actually cause condense can actually undergo condensation and this condensation can result into the cloud formation which can cause rainfall and thus cool the areas now compare this with the dense urban sprawl or uh, or we can say metropolitan cities here if you look at these areas you can see greeneries are very very less everywhere the cities are covered by concrete or glass or cement brick building and we also have large or uh, huge high density of roadways that is covered by asphalt tar and all these actually absorbs heat and thus the thermal regulation or temperature regulation is very very uh, less as compared to the rural areas and this we can understand from a simple fact by comparing the albedo of the rural areas with the urban areas albedo basically refers to uh, ratio of total amount of energy that is radiated out or reflected out as compared to the incident energy. So obviously in the urban areas due to heavy use of construction materials and asphalt they absorb large amount of energy. Reflectivity is very very less and that is why the heat gets trapped within this urban region. And that is how you can look at this urban heat island profile. So what you will see you can see here we have the main urban area that is downtown that is most dense urban network then here we have commercial areas and urban residential park then we have suburban residential areas rural areas so we compare to all these regions where greenery is much more higher and urban development intensity is relatively lesser temperature also is lesser and the region of that urban region where the development is much more intense where the number of buildings density is very very high you can see temperature also have risen to the same extent so this region we can see is behaving like a urban heat island. Now let us talk about urban heat island in the context of India. So first of all if you look at this, this is the map of Delhi and these regions you can see the these major regions, the red region is the higher temperature region while the green region is relatively cooler temperature, colder temperature region. So basically it is the Najafgarh and Mungeshpur localities in Delhi that is witnessing higher temperature as compared to its surrounding. And this is believed to be variations in heating over highly urbanized and semi-urbanized areas and comparatively what we are seeing that there is the availability of those areas where we have availability of open and green spaces. We have lower temperature there while those areas where we have availability of uh, less availability of green and open spaces there we have higher temperature. And this is understood from the simple point that the urban meteorological processes act completely differently from countryside or semi-urban and rural areas. The reason we have discussed just before. So what does NASA actually say about the urban heat island effect of India? So NASA actually have used its ecosystem space borne thermal radiometer experiment also in short called as eco-stress to map the Delhi region. 
and the nearby regions. So what we can see here, for example, look at the important cities. For example, you have Delhi here, then you have Panipat, then you have Rohtak, Sonipat, Jind, Bhivani. So in all these areas, what we are seeing, we are seeing red coloration. So red coloration basically means that temperature is much more higher as compared to the nearby areas where it is blue colored. So blue colored means cooler temperature, colder temperature, red colors means higher temperature. So these all these reasons are actually example of urban heat island where due to intense development or intense urbanization temperature is relatively much more higher and one other data we have seen that if you compare the urban areas and rural areas of Delhi region what we are seeing that in the night time in urban region of Delhi temperature is as high as 35 degrees Celsius remains somewhere in that uh, that range while in the rural areas of nearby Delhi, the temperature is going as low as 15 degrees Celsius. So you can see such a vast difference arises mainly because of the urban heat island effect and the excess heat that is trapped throughout the whole day by this uh, by the urban areas. So since we are talking about eco stress, let us help NASA in coming to this conclusion. Let us talk slightly about eco stress as well. So eco stress was actually sent to the International Space Station in 2018, and basically the main function or main aim of this eco stress was to measure the temperature on the ground. That means the temperature on the ground is measured by eco stress, not the air temperature, not the atmospheric temperature. And this becomes very very important because air temperature keeps on changing at a much more faster rate as compared to the ground level temperature. So measurement of ground temperature gives us much fair idea about how the heat is being distributed, being trapped or being released from any given regions. Apart from that, why the eco stress was focusing on measuring the ground temperature? So basically it wanted to measure the temperature of the plants and understand thus that how or what kind of plants or which kind of plants have which kind of water requirements and how the water requirements of the plant actually impact the climates and climate change around them. Now obviously question comes that we have discussed the urban heat island effect, what are the causes of urban heat island effect and the many country, many cities of India is witnessing urban island, uh, heat island effect. Now how to reduce EHI? So it is not uh, something uh, big rocket science. How we can reduce urban heat island is by reducing the absorption capacity of the urban areas and that we can do by increasing the green cover in the urban areas, by increasing the number of water bodies in the urban area. This is actually becoming a big problem in India because large number of water bodies, lakes in the big big metropolitan cities are being, are being continuously encroached for a construction or development of new new buildings. So that is something we have to again uh, uh, have to have, need to have a fresh perspective on that. Second, the choice of construction material also plays a very important role because if you are using large amount of concrete, bricks, uh, cement and these glasses, they actually increase the absorption capacity and the strap the heat more. Thus, we need to focus on such kind of construction material that is more reflective of the heat. Third, we should promote terraces and kitchen garden. For example, in buildings, this you can see in the adjoining pictures, large number of greeneries and the uh, construction of terraces and kitchen garden actually helps in uh, micro regulation of the climate and the weather around that area. So if such kind of arrangement can be made in large number of buildings in the urban areas, some to the some extent we can see the re reduction in the urban heat island effect. This actually has been successfully done in the Singapore where large number of building has been fitted with the terrace and kitchen garden and it is very very in, uh, beneficial for the environment and climate as a whole too. And the last we can understand that we can try to paint the surface of the or the walls of the building in urban areas by white color or light color so they reflect the light more absorption is less so the heat uh, trapping of the heat will be relatively lesser so these are the major ways how we can reduce the urban heat island effect so that is all about this particular topic i hope you understood the concept and how we can tackle the urban heat island effect thank you very much